Good morning, Gorringes are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 23rd of August. Another Monday sale as ever. And I thought we'd have a look at, pick out a few lots of smalls from the sale. It's quite an interesting selection. This time we've also got books and other things. So what caught my eye first of all? Well, how about this? Lot number 251, an artist's lay figure. Now, these are very popular and come, I'm trying to see if I can get stand up, come in all different sizes up to life size, which is very rare, but they are about. Typically, this is a fairly common sort of size. Um, so, and they do reproduce these now because they make money. Um, but this looks good, lovely old coloring to it. It's a lady model by the looks of things. Um, we, we debated the hands, whether they come down a bit too low. They, they you know, maybe, maybe not, some debate there. Maybe she's just a very um, elongated lady. Anyway, there we go, that's rather nice. That's lot 251. Pose it how you will, it comes with some sort of stand. I think the estimate's 150 to 200, should be that sort of area, possibly a little bit more as ever. What else do we have in the cell? Well, Mouseman, 255 are some ashtrays. I'm not gonna dwell on those too much because ashtrays are a bit dull, but there are lots of other bits of Mouseman. I we're... think the numbers start with a one, don't they? Very this... good point. Yeah. The numbers start with a one, it's 1255, 1255, yes. thank yes. you very much. So yes, 12.55 are some ashtrays that we're not going to dwell on other than the lot number. But moving down the line here, still curious things like old angle poise lamps, old Moorcroft and Dalton and some art class. There's some interesting mixed lots in this sale, such as this lot, 2.83. Sort of what my old boss, Mr. Perry, would call funny bedfellows, he would say. And, and what he would mean by that was a sort of funny, rather random assortment of things. This rather lovely pool pottery, I suppose that's a sort of butter dish with the Carter Stabler Adams stamp and this rather nice stylized B finial. And it's in with then a bit of Lucy Atwell start, a little saucer there, but no cup. And then we get some of these, um, these are a bit like pool, but I don't think they are, but that sort of thing, bookends and, and, a, and a sort of deco-y style tea set, all under lot 1283. So it's a curious mixture there, but there are a few other lots like that in the cell. Nothing individually is quite worth enough to be on its own. So they either have to get together or they don't get off, I suppose. So further on, uh, what else have we got? How about this? How about James Bond's briefcase, allegedly? Now, I went to a house in the depths of the Sussex countryside and there was a lady there with all sorts of things, including all these lovely Mouseman bits. And she bought this for her husband uh, many years ago, uh, back in the 70s, I believe, from Asprey. And there we go, Asprey of London, up the top there. And at the time they said to her, Madam, this is the James Bond model. Um, so I did ask if there was a, 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 a length of hidden sovereigns within it and some secret knives and things, but apparently not. But anyway, he loved it for many, many years. Look at the wear on it, super thing, all rubbed down. Just in at 40, 60 quid, no huge money, but kind of fun and a bit of a curiosity. So onwards from the same house, this large sail barge, well, model of a sail barge, got 1334. Look at that, it's got some age, got some character to it. Big thing that. I don't know what you do with it. I suppose you stick it up on the wall or hang it from the ceiling these days. Now, Mouseman, 1307. Here we are from the same property. Rather nice little box there. I suppose that's a butter dish, really. Keep your butter in, keep the flies off it, but 1307, there we are, nice little box, or you can just keep your knickknacks in, I don't know, whatever you want to put in a box, you can put in a box. Further on, we have Mabel Lucy Atwell again, you see there is a theme here linking through, we have the saucer earlier. This is a biscuit money box, how lovely is that? Um, so I think one buys the biscuits from Crawford's, who really went in for these sort of funky different tins. And then you've got the benefit of not only all the lovely biscuits, but once you've eaten it, you've got a money box printed with Lucy Atwell Pixies. Now, condition, well, could be better, couldn't it? It's a bit faded, but still, the estimate's just 60 to 80, so I don't think that's unreasonable. Quite a nice thing, that. Further on, what else have we got? Another mixed lot of curiosities. So, 1301, what do you get? You get a George III mahogany tea caddy without its interior or its lock, all gone. But you get this Ramon Alones box, casket, like a cigar box really but rather superior quality um in fact i think that's what it is you get that and you get this nice cruet stand you'd need some bottles for that though uh, oh it says down below pair of cruet bottles with handle anyway you get that and how about this a, a nice big mallet with some initials rm i 
stamped into it, big bomby stick. So, lovely little lot of treen and boxes. And then what caught my eye is you could buy this lot and then you could come down here and you could buy this lot and you could put those in there. Now they didn't start life together. How do we know that? Well, because it had originally two bottles where you took out the stopper and you put the stopper in there while you weren't using it. But they do fit rather well. So you could buy one 304, George III silver mounted cut glass bottles with some other bits. You could buy this lot, 1301, and you'd just be made. And hopefully everybody will want to do that, and the price will go through the roof. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, passing by, this came in. I remember seeing this come in the door, 1296. And we thought, oh, look at that. Marvellous, lovely enamel, but unfortunately not silver. Silver, it's, it's gilt metal mounts, still with the lovely rich enamel. So you're not having to pay the price of the silver. And you do get a few little silver jars sort of randomly included with it. So there we go, that's that. We passed by a bottle of Margot that looked quite good. I don't know if it is, but um, it's in at 100 quid. But we jumped to this, 1557. Now, nice little miniature here. A military sitter, always popular, and signed down here, Fire, F-A-I-J-A. -A. Well, I didn't know who it was. You probably did, but I didn't. Looked him up. Anyway, Italian miniaturist. Um, dated 1835. Unknown sitter, but he does look like he's, he's 89th Regiment. I think he's an English sitter. So nice thing that, 1557, in the original frame, with the ormolu mount. A little bit faded, but there we go. You can't have everything. I would like it. Uh, further down, well, Coco de Mares. We had one a couple of weeks ago, I think. Here's another one. Lot 342. There we go. Uh, estimates four to six hundred pounds. If you were the underbidder last time, you didn't get it. Well, now's your chance. More Mousemen there, 1325, some bookends. Kind of fun again. I like this cabinet, 1338, probably 17th century. West Mi Westmoreland salt box, 17th century it says. 450 pounds, no less. Well, our estimate's not as high as that, but uh, come along and see what you make of it. It's got some interesting sort of stencil cut leather. Look, cut leather decoration that's falling off. More of it's falling off than still on, but still. That looks nice. I like that. That could go on and make a bit more. Prints of shells, paintings of horses, lots of lots of booze, wines, champagnes, books. Let's do books. I'm going round. So books. Philip's been busy cataloguing away all sorts of books in this sale, um, <clears throat> such as things like Views in Wales. Look at that. Lovely. Four bindings. You get views in Wales and scenery in Ireland. That is lot number 1405 for the views in Wales. So this is South Wales. And just a rather lovely book of engravings. So many of these got sort of cut up and framed up for prints and things. But uh, there we go. Views in Wales, two volumes. Uh, 406 is scenery of Ireland. <clears throat> Running on down, more sort of bindings. Old and new London there. Scottish the Buffs and Green Howards as a sort of regimental history. Fleming's now always popular. And which one? I'm trying to remind myself which one was the one with the highest estimate. I think it was for your eyes only that has an estimate of about four to <clears throat> six hundred. And it's got its original dust jacket, a little bit beaten up. But the key thing is it is the um first edition and he hadn't written too many other books by that time. It's all about you know Casino Royale, the most desirable or the scarcest, and so, <clears throat> nice little lot there, Moonraker, Diamonds Are Forever, Goldfinger, Thunderball, all there. If you want something more fantasy, or different kind of fantasy, I guess, we've got The Hobbit here. Uh, a, a, a fourth impression of the first edition, lot 1423, or for something much more up-to-date, George Martin's Game of Thrones, one of those, uh, book one from Game of Thrones, first edition, so presumably, again, fewer people were into that than were in later. We've got the James Bond dossier, written no less by Kingsley Amis. There we go, it's curious, isn't it, how these things go running around. So, some nice little modern first editions there. Do have a good look. There's a, there's a really sort of, you know, interesting assortment. Uh, there's paintings as ever, there's prints as ever, there's furniture as ever, there's jewellery and silver and uh, teddy bears, loads of teddy bears. So, come along and have a good look. We're on view as ever, Friday, Saturday and the morning of the sale. Then the following week, bank holiday weekend, so no auction. What will you do with your time? I don't know. Um, good opportunity to have a holiday or good opportunity to think about consigning for the fine sale. Boom, boom. 
Um, yeah, we're, we're getting full up now, but if you've got something rather juicy that would appeal to us and appeals to the, your idea of selling it, then um, do get in touch. And we're taking in sort of to the end of August for that one. So uh, that's going to be a nice sale. Looking forward to that. So there we are, really. Marvels as ever. Come along and see us. Enjoy the sale and uh, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.